photography I think you shoot bursts like this that's how I do it I was on the brink of selling this thing I wasn't sure I needed it I have the Sony full frame I'm not really sure why I'm looking for other things but I wanted something different and Penny Boy has a special place in my heart and I can't forget that and I figured with this prime lens you would have something special and you do doesn't mean I'm not gonna sell you why can't I quit you the main issue I've been having is manually focusing on this thing has not been pleasurable, but I found a hack. I figured I would try this and it worked phenomenally and I'm so happy to share it with you. What you do, peaking set to plus one instead of all the way to plus two. Monochrome viewfinder turns everything black and white and then your peaking's red so all you see is black and white, but red peaking on your subject. I could tell a hawk's iris if it was in or out. Didn't see a hawk. A lot of squirrels though. First squirrel of the day. It's a cloudy day here. So I figured this would be a good low light test for Penny Boy. We got the Leica 2.8, that helps. That helps a bit. And if you're seeing noise, it's because I'm adding film grain now. I'm a filmmaker. I said film grain. I add grame. I'll add it to your mom's dinner. This shot was, however, pretty disappointing. The dynamic range on the Penny Boys. Uh, not one detail in that squirrel. That's with shadows lifted. No details could be brought back from that scene. That scene was hellfire. Oh boy, you expose for the sky, you lose the shadows. I have a feeling Sony or Nikon or Canon would have been able to recover some of those details, but. That's what you do with Panda Boy. You get a super stable image that cannot be touched. I don't mind that. I also did a couple topaz enhancements and for the last couple scenes, I put the glimmer glass filter on here. It's the same size as my Canon 24 mil. I was like, could that be? I think there's potential in that. If you get the right sun, it was a cloudy day. It was really the wrong scene, but there was moments. We got a little woodpecker here, a little female. No red on the head, so no warning lights. And he'll peck your eyes out. She, she will not do that. And she climbs up the tree of life, hoping to find a meal. In focus, kind of. It's funny, I saw this bird land and he's like, no, why did you jump behind the one place where I can't film you? How dare you? And then another one landed, little yellow finch type thing. And here I started practicing my mind powers. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna focus on this and I'm gonna make a bird land. Not one landed, they just flew by mocking me, saying, we're not gonna listen to you. I thought I had superpowers, I'm vegan again. So I was like, okay, come to me. They, they didn't come, they ran. Now, when I look at this footage of the Robin, I think, it's beautiful and natural. I think the Sony would have been a bit sharper, but this has a special look to it. I must say, even on cloudy days, I was like, damn, those Robins are beautiful. It's so rare too. Like you never see, have you seen one? Look, I'm showing you a Robin for the first time probably. It's amazing. I love that I spent like $7,000 or something to get like Robin and squirrel footed. Look, I got another squirrel here. He's just waiting waiting to be filmed with super expensive gear. He's like, you spent what on that? Like people just walk by with their phones. Stupid people, that's who. Now I wanted to test out the HD 240 frames because it is better quality than the 300 apparently. Like I think it's 10 bit 422 versus 420 in the 300 frames. I don't know that I see much of a difference. I do have a woodpecker footage later that we compare them side by side, but I don't know, it's good. There is moire, but like, this is why I say Panasonic is much better than Fuji because Fuji would have botched that shot, the 240p. Yes, Fuji is a fantastic thing. If you like your ProRes and all that weird shit in the open gate and you're doing vertical video and your mom is disappointed in you, I get it. But like, if you want the best slow-mo, it's Panasonic, boy. 
Later on, I did enhance some 300 frames per second to 8K, and it was actually quite usable. I'm gonna do a little montage and like punch in on it. The detail will be so crisp. You won't even believe it. See you later, buddy. Here's a little 240 frames per second chickadee action. He's doing some shake, scratching himself, left leg dancing, flying off into the wind. The only complaint I have about Panasonic slow motion is the moiré. I'm noticing it. It's I don't see it in 4K 120p, but the HD 240 and 300 especially. A lot of aliasing lines. They could have removed that. That was my biggest complaint about the GH5S. The 240p was like even worse than this. But the noise patterns are not freaky X-trans like. You freak, Fuji. Now here's a side by side. HD 240 frames per second versus 300. Am I seeing a difference? Is it worth using? I don't know. I don't know that I see a damn thing. Actually, the right one does look a little sharper, maybe? I don't know, man. They're, they're so close. Like, people are saying it's night and day difference and I would never use 300 frames, only 240. I don't know, man. A woodpecker's gonna lick your bugs out. Just do it in any frame rate you can. Now, I don't mean to alarm you, but I did manage to film this woodpecker in 300 frames per second, enhance it to 8K 600 frames per second, and the cinema, it was ours. It was ours. They lie to us because it's subtle. They want us walking through so many puddles. They set the world up for you to struggle Most of us could use a body double, body double. You can't catch somebody else's troubles Even if you bumble through the rubble In life we tumble through the puzzle Cause we're gullible What I learned in that situation was I was kind of hoping that you could take the HD 300, punch it up to 8K, and then be able to zoom in for special details, but it looks pretty trashy. It's not the best, but it did enhance that footage if you don't zoom in. It's like, wow, that is much better. So it's cool to do sometimes, but it doesn't make up for like actual 5.7K. I just, I prefer the slow-mo. I wish Panty Boy had 5.7K 120p or 4K 240p, but they do not. They chose to go with a high megapixel sensor for photos for some reason. Like anybody's gonna shoot those with this piece of garbage hunk meat. You couldn't get a shot. What are you gonna do? It has worse dynamic range than the GH5 did. What are you gonna do with that? Click the thing? My shutter counts minus six. Never. That 5.7K is beautiful though, I must say. There's definitely moments where you'd want to use it. Notice the jerky stabe though. It's so weird. Every system but Sony seems to get this. It's like if you're still, Fuji and Panasonic are unbeatable. It's just like, it looks like a tripod almost, but then when you move, there's jerky moments. Not all the time. It is better controlled in Panasonic than Fuji was, but Sony is like, even though it sways, quite a bit sometimes it's really tough to get it it's because it's so heavy but when you're moving it's never jerky you could follow things till the end of time so last section here with the glimmer glass filter on and then we come to some conclusions here whether we're selling this panty boy or not the magic is ours i shot it up to 5.7k just to hopefully counterbalance the lack of sharpness that putting that filter on does but the glimmer glass gives a special look and there will be blooming highlights unless you're shooting on a cloudy day, which I did the whole time. There's some, we did get some moment where a woodpecker was somewhat backlit and it was almost magical, not for very long or very intense, but it actually made things really hard to focus as well. 
because it's less sharp so the peaking doesn't show up as much i was like trying to get this robin i was really struggling and hunting but uh, it was just a bad day to use this thing i tell you but there's some glowing in his beak you saw it don't pretend you didn't so here's the deal panasonic i like it i like using it i would sell it I just, I don't see what I would upgrade to. I love testing gear. So I want to keep like this wheelhouse of like, okay, we buy this, test it out for a while, sell it off. I don't want to rent gear for one day. I need more time to find all the quirks. You take it out once and it's like, you're panicking. Oh, I better test it all and then it rains. I don't like the idea of testing gear. I'm a YouTuber. I should be getting stuff in for testing, but slim pickings these days i would love to test a nikon z9 but it's like would i do that if i sold this i could maybe get five grand for this that would not even buy a z9 body and you could do like r5 with the 100 to 500 still looking at like spending several thousand dollars and i've seen a lot of footage that just does not look special from that canon a lot of bad stuff that looks like you're just on a smartphone zoomed in as well with digital crops. It's like, what is that? And then I get some of this back and I'm like, what are you shooting? This is way better. So it's like, it's a special thing, but my Sony is better. It has so much more potential. And with that 1.4 times teleconverter, you're looking at 200 to 924 mil in 4K 120p. A little 10% crop on that. That's special. And like you can autofocus with it. Oh, the debates. It's just like, I like it, but why do I have it? Could money be put towards something better? I don't know. Black Magic 4K? Just swap out this for that, but the usability of that will be so much worse, I think. I don't know, man. It's a conundrum. It's a conundrum. Let me know down below what I should do. Sell it or not. Panda Boy is special. It's a special look. And what if they do some firmware updates? They might. You don't know that they won't. You don't know that. So we're done. Thank you for buying it through my affiliate links. Gives me $6 per purchase. Huh? If people out there spend $40,000, I'll have about $19 to play with. Put it towards a Z9. Huh? 8K60 raw, can you imagine it? I couldn't. I want to see it so badly. Come on, Aiden camera, get one. They asked Nikon and they haven't got back to me. I don't think they like me much. I've never been mean to Nikon. I'm going to leave. After you buy a Panasonic Pony of Hope t-shirt. Subscribe.